In this video, I'll be showing you how to get three to four playmaking badge points per game. So if you just got the game and you're trying to max out your build or if you're making a new build with playmaking in it, you're gonna wanna watch this whole video all the way through so that you don't miss anything because you can possibly max out your playmaking in one day. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're making your new players is to make sure that you go to a team that has people that can catch lobs. So I would recommend the Timberwolves. The Bucks, of course, is a good one because of Giannis. And then the team that I put all my players on, especially my guards, the Los Angeles Lakers, just because they have LeBron, they have AD, and some more players that can catch lobs the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have at least a 70 pass accuracy right here i have a 75 and the reason i'm at a 75 is just because i had the extra vc so i was like why not and i just upgraded my to 75 but you want to have at least a 70 pass accuracy because with oh, this yeah. method you want to be able to complete passes to your teammates yeah, and not have so many turnovers so that you're not wasting too much time and you can get the most out of this method all right here are the settings you want to be using you want to make sure you have it on hall of fame difficulty when you're doing playmaking badges just because turnovers don't really matter when you're getting playmaking badges all it does is slow you down and keep you from getting the sense that you could have got if you didn't turn the ball over but put it on hall of fame when you turn the ball over it's not going to hurt you you just want to get assist and you want to get the max xp boost to your badge progress as possible and you have to be on hall of fame to get that next you want to be on 12 minute quarters just because you want to get up as many reps as possible whenever you're grinding badges no matter what badge it is no matter what difficulty it is you want to get as many reps as possible with whatever you're doing when you're grinding badges all right some badges that will help you with this method are needle threader and also special delivery so you want to have these badges as high as you can get them for special delivery to be on gold which is what i recommend you have to have a pass accuracy of a 67 so if you don't want to upgrade your pass accuracy to a 70 you can stop at a 67 and get special delivery gold and that'll be good too but i also like to use needle threader and to have needle threader you have to have a 70 pass accuracy so i recommend that you go up to that 70 pass accuracy that i mentioned earlier so that you can put both of these badges on so you can connect with most of your passes all right like i said earlier i like to play in the lakers and all you want to do is press l1 or lb and then click rb or r1 to call for a specific person right here i'm gonna call for anthony davis so i'm gonna hold down LT and then when he gets here I'm just gonna go between the legs attack the paint and then when that center steps up I'm gonna throw a lob simple as that y'all super easy method same method we've been using for years and years but this is just for my new people who are just getting the game or if y'all don't know this method and y'all are doing a slower method you can use this method and when i'm on offense especially when i'm just going for offensive badges i like to just let them score if i'm not going for my defensive badges i'll let them score just so i can get the ball back if you flop you do is shoot the ball we'll get the board or they'll make it and we get the ball right back come down l1 lb rb or uh, r1 and then call for your screen calling for ad i'll call for ad or lebron he has a screen i'm gonna attack the center attack rudy gobert throw it up 18 lebron are going to catch nine out of the ten lobs y'all it's easy as that i'm gonna finish this method out and then i'm gonna come back at the end and show y'all how many badge points i got all right y'all we're at the end of the game and as you can see i got 38 assists and only four turnovers i am not starting and i did not even play the whole for the quarter i only played 24 minutes and i'm gonna show y'all how much i got so this game i got a total of 64,000 my points as you can see right here, my playmaking badges are just going up and up and up, and I maxed out my playmaking badges. If this method helped y'all out, send it to a friend, drop a like, sub up if you're new, and I appreciate y'all. We out.